Shifting our focus for now, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has claimed that Ukrainian spies have received information on how Russia is considering to carry out a terrorist attack at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Zelensky issued a fresh call to put pressure on Russia to end its occupation of the plant. The plant was seized by Russian troops days after the February 2022 invasion of Ukraine. Moscow dismissed Zelensky's allegations of an attack on the plant as another lie. On a Telegram video address, Zelensky also pointed out on the fact that how Russia has formed special groups to collect and hide bodies of people killed in the aftermath of the Kakovka dam breach this month in southern Ukraine. Ukraine and Russia have accused each other of destroying the dam. Of course, we also have information about what is happening in the occupied part of the Kherson region. To describe it, even the word catastrophe is not strong enough. The Russian evil has formed special forces there to remove and obviously hide the victims' bodies. This is not the first time Russia is doing such a thing, seeking to destroy the evidence and traces of its crimes in the occupied territory. Meanwhile, Russia's Wagner Group chief Yevgeny Prigozhin accused defense officials of lying to President Vladimir Putin and the Russian people about the scale of Russian losses and setbacks in Ukraine. Prigozhin said, and I'm quoting here, Total trash is being put on Putin's desk and Russia will wake up one day and learn Crimea has been handed over to the Ukrainians. The statement comes after Russian Defense Ministry has repeatedly said that its troops have repelled all attacks by Ukraine, inflicting a heavy damage while suffering only small losses itself.